Good morning, and we are currently outside of the Maple Hills. Um, right now we're in front of Maple Hill South, closest to the stadium. We're just kind of showing you what you'll be living around, kind of give you a feel for the campus a little bit, because I know that it can get confusing. So we're just who, who are say you? hello. I'm Molly Shooklin. I'm a student here at the university. I'm about to go into my junior year as an advertising and public relations major. So I'm from Rogers, Arkansas. Very if you nice. ever get the chance to go up there. So right here. Yeah, what do we see around here? Well, we have a lot to see around here. So right here we're gonna have the nursing building. It's Epsley. Epley? Epley, yes. Yeah. Okay, so the Epley nursing building. I know there's a lot of people who come to Arkansas because nursing is a really big uh, major here that we have on campus. So that's gonna be your nearest home right there. We're also gonna have the Tyson Agriculture Building right here in front of us. Um, where you see those giant cranes, that's actually the football stadium. It's currently being under construction. We're gonna add in a jumbotron, you know, trying to be the even better SEC school. It's gonna be a big, so, big it's stadium. It's gonna be a big stadium. Um, and then we also have over here, we're gonna have the quads. Right here is the quad C. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Harding, or the quad at Harding. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, sure. so kind of central campus, and oh, I'm sorry, over here also by the nursing building mm -hmm. is Reed Hall. Reed Hall, right Reed over Hall. there. So, just giving you a little feel of And campus. then we also have, what, Hill Grill yeah, so right here? Yeah, Hill Grill, it's just a place where you can come and get some food. Um, if you're on your way to class or something, it's open for lunch until late at dinner. And basically, you can come and do meal trade as well here. They have really good hamburgers. Check it out. They have good hamburgers. Club really Red good. is over in this yeah, direction. Yeah, so Club Red is going to be over here in this direction. It also has a Freshens, which makes like smoothies. Um, you can do any kind of add-ins and stuff. That's with your dining dollars. Well, you'll use that. Um, same with all of Club Red. You can go over there and get a big bag of chips. You can get some soda. You can get candy. Anything that they have over there. Um, my biggest suggestion would be the cinnamon roll cinnamon that they have over there. And then... So, um, Fulbright Dining in this Fulbright direction. Fulbright Dining is going to be your closest dining call. It's going to be in between these two quads. Um, they have really good stir fry, suggested in every single video. Um, and then whenever you're more on campus, you'll most likely use the rough dining call. So that's going to be around the business college. Just to let you know what's going to be around you and what you need to use while you're here. Fantastic. So. All right. Well, let's yeah. head inside to um, Maple Hill South. This is also really yeah. Arkansas. That's a older brand that we have there. Yeah, so. Hey, there's several people tuning in. Feel free to tell us where you're from. We'd love to say hello. We're glad you're uh, listening and watching with us as we go. Yeah, so we'll just walk inside Maple Hill South right now. Mm -hmm. Just kind of see like some living area. And there is music camp going on, so we're going to... Yes, band camp. Band Remember camp. that year you were in band camp? Or were you in camp. band camp? Did you ever do band camp? I did. I did band, but I wasn't in band camp. Oh, okay. I, I did, did band, band just for Silver Dollar City in eighth grade. I oh, like clarinet, okay. So. Hey, uh, Tammy from Houston. Nice Hi, to Tammy say hello. Tammy from Houston. Yeah. Well, let's say hello to... Hi. Catherine. How are Hi. you, Catherine? Good. Doing well. Thanks. Good. Tell us, uh, what do you do here? I am the coordinator for residence education in Maple Hill East. Um, and so I just kind of keep track of what residents need, what the building needs, programming, supervise the student staff that live in the building. So student staff would be the RAs, is that yes. right? Okay. Yes. And they um, they actually are students, and they live here as well, like you do. Yes, I live here with my family, and the RAs live here in the building too. Very cool, very cool. Hey, um, Irene from Kansas City, and Abby from Alito, Texas. Alito. Yes, very cool. All right, so what are we looking at here? This is a nice room. A little parlor. Yeah. yeah this is our south parlor. Right now we've got um, band camp, uh, high school band camp students staying, so they've kind of set up base there. Um, yeah, but it's a really nice space. Um, there are people taking naps in there. There are some naps. Taking so we won't be too so. disruptive. Okay, we got some mail, I guess, behind us mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So students in Maple Hill South and from Hots Hall will receive their mail here in this area. Mm -hmm. In this sort of common area we this have. Common area. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then okay. we are going to walk across. Um, this is the front desk as well. If like you ever sure. got packages, they're too big to fit in a mailbox, they will go over there. Sometimes you'll get a key and you can open up the bigger mailbox, but most likely you get it from the front. So we'll go over to the other side of the mm -hmm. Maple Hill South and we'll show you the theater and there's some classrooms over there. Yeah, just some to other kinda... spaces for you to enjoy once yeah. you're here. Um, how, how often is the, off, is the desk open here? 
So the desk is open um, with Jahong is our um, admin, our professional admin. He's here from 8 to 4.30. Okay. Um, but then we have a resident assistant or another student staff member that works until 10 p.m. on weeknights and okay. midnight on weekends. Gotcha. So you'll oftentimes find someone down there. Yes, very often. So now we're walking north. Um, and we're coming into, what do you call this courtyard? So we... Oh, no. Are this, we walking north? I think we're walking north. Yes, we're yeah. walking yes, north. Yes, we are. Um, this is kind of our south courtyard. Uh -huh. um, the official courtyard is the big one through there. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Good to see y'all. We're doing a live broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay. So this is what we call the South Theater. Uh -huh. um, right now, again, Band Camp has um, lots of great snacks. These will not just be here. <laughs> oh, for these, grabs, these snacks are not part of the deal? They are not. Oh, they are okay. not. But we do very often have uh, movie nights in here, and we will set up like concessions um, and then show a movie. Sure. Um, but students can also reserve this space mm -hmm. um, if they need to for meetings or studying. So it's great. What, um, what kind of movies do you show here? Um, all kinds. Uh, scary movies around October. We also did like a Disney movie series uh, yes. last spring, so that was really fun. What's your favorite Disney movie? Ooh, um, Beauty and the Beast. If we're talking about all-time favorite princess, if we're talking about music, it's going to be Princess and the Frog or Mulan. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Apparently, you've been asked that question before because you were <laughs> oh my gosh, ready the with the yes, answer. I'm ready with okay, that answer. Okay, okay. Great, so we've got this space. What else do we have in Maple Hill? And uh, Maple South, South here. Um, we also have a classroom down here, mm -hmm. just down the stairs. We Dara from Lex uh, Lenexa, Kansas. I may have mispronounced that, and if so, I'm sorry. Sounds about right. Yeah. So this is our South classroom. Again, this is um, students can reserve this after hours. Mm -hmm. um, we do use it for classes during the business day, so we don't reserve it to students generally during the business day. But. Okay. It's a nice big space. Yes, it's wonderful. What do students use it for typically? Um, study sessions most often. Uh, every once in a while we'll have an RSO, a registered student organization that's looking for space to meet on a regular basis. Um, and then we'll, we can kind of reserve that for them. Dara said I got it right, but I pronounced it correctly. Thank you, Dara. I'm glad I did. I see these whiteboards too. Big, big whiteboards. Yes. Then we have screens that come down. Um, oh, so and AV. Projector and, yep. Yep. Very cool. That's great. Okay. Well, let's see. Was there anything else in Maple Hill South that we wanted to look at, or we want to head up to? Did you hit to... the Hill Grill? Uh, we mentioned it, but do you have any thoughts about the Hill Grill? Have you ever uh, been there? Yes, I have been there. Um, very often I use my uh, meal trade to get a lunch for the next day. They uh -huh. have these really great wraps that they'll wrap up for you mm -hmm. kind of to go. Um, so I do that a lot. So it's oh. awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Good. We All will right. continue on, and now we're going to head towards Maple Hill East. Maple Hill East. So, sure. And that's whenever we'll start to show you more, some room layouts. Um, so come prepared with questions. I know that some of you parents are dying to ask away. Right. And I will say one thing about um, every building or every residence hall here on campus is you'll notice these fobs right here. Mm -hmm. So you all have to fob into every single building. Just a security here on campus so you don't want strangers coming in. Um, late at night or just walking into random halls where we don't know them. So if your friend is visiting, you need to come downstairs and pick them up. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Yeah. The fobs are very small, just in case you don't know. They look like, uh, here, we show one of yours. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get them in there. Sure. Yeah, so there's a fob right there. Attaches to your wallet, no worries. Attaches to your key ring, no worries. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, right here, if you see through, yeah. um, right by Reed Hall, it's going to be the UAPD. So if you ever had um, any problems or troubles, I would go over there and they can help assist you. So the police substation is located right there. Yes, so parents, they're very, very, very safe. Mm -hmm. so now we're headed up to Maple Hill East, but I think we we're going to show this garden space, yeah. which is a very cool thing. You can also uh, ride bikes on campus. That's one of their are bike racks right here. Sure. Um, just make sure that you bring your own locks and no one's trying to take them up for Yeah, some, some bicycle uh, locking space right there is always useful. Um, Dara asked, and I don't know this quite, the answer off my top of my head, you may know, uh, what is the cost to 
replace a fob? Uh, it's $25. $25 yeah, to replace a fob. So if it fob. breaks, like this one you can see, it's time for us to replace this. Um, if the student starts noticing that their fob is wearing and they trade it in, we will replace it free of charge. Um, but if it breaks off and they lose it, um, we're almost always going to charge them a $25 fee. Good to know, good to know. Good question, Dara, thank you. All right, so we're yeah, walking across a big garden. green field. <laughs> Here's a campus bloom. community garden. It's a collaboration with uh, some organizations on campus. Yeah. yeah, so organizations on campus, they started this garden just to, you know, give back to their community. So anything that they grow here, they'll, grow here. they'll give to the food bank. So mm -hmm. all about trying to help out one another in this community. So let me show this great basil right here. We got it's some growing. good basil. The onions look like they're ready to be picked. Some kale. Yeah. Um, we got some tomatoes over there. Very nice. Very nice. So now, um, have uh, uh, do students ever get involved with this particular garden? Um, yeah. So our um, horticulture club runs the garden. Like they're in charge of making sure everything's watered and picked and changed out. Mm -hmm. um, they are always looking for volunteers, especially in Maple because we're so close. Mm -hmm. um, so if you need volunteer hours for your fraternity or sorority, or you just want to get involved, or you love plants. Um, you can come find me. I can get you in contact with them. You can also look on Give Pulse. So we'll have those hours up on, on Give Pulse if you want to come and volunteer. Sure. And volunteering, learning to grow these uh, crops would yeah. be kind of a you. useful skill. You save yeah. money in life. They've taught me some things. Um, they know a lot. I mean, they're just undergraduate students, but they know a lot. Fantastic. Well, very beautiful. service is important, especially if you want a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Important. Things for the resume, things for the things whole person. Things for the resume. All right. So right out here is going to be some good outdoor seating. So yeah. I mean, you can come and do some homework out here, or good study space. Yeah, good study space, or grab a meal from the Hill Grill and come eat out here. You can put a hammock over there. Some alfresco uh, outside studying right yeah. there. Yeah, and we love to use the space for cookouts. Um, also, we'll do some s'mores when it gets a little bit, um, you know, cooler outside. We'll get a fire pit going. So it's really fun. We love having this space. Yeah, you bet. I'm always impressed by how much green there is in this area. Oh, we love it. Yeah. And how long have you been here? Um, so I've lived in Maple Hill East. I'm going into my second year in Maple Hill East. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Great. You said you live here with your family. I do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I live here with my husband, um, mm -hmm. my 14-year-old sister, mm -hmm. and then my two little boys. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That's great. Big family. It's nice to have those kind of presences in a residence hall. It is. It is. The students are their biggest fans, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So this is going to be the main lobby area for Maple Hill East. Um, right here again is your front desk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you want to say hi to someone. Why don't you say hello real quick? Hey, hey. what's your name? Kent Proden. Nice to meet you, Kent. Um, you. Um, any words for those who will be coming here in the fall? Um, just w go to the move-in website, follow instructions, be relaxed. Everybody will make it through. Very good. Thank you very much, Kent. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So. Over here we have some more mailboxes. This is where Maple Hill East and West will get their mail. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, you will get packages up at the front desk of it's too big to put in a mailbox. Um, so something you should learn now is your UARC Gmail or email, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. is your life. Start using it now. Use it for everything. Um, every single time. Sometimes your classes may switch or just make sure that you're checking up with that email because they'll tell you everything that you need to know. It'll also tell you your mailbox specifically and the combination for it, so you and your roommate will actually share one. Yeah, I can't emphasize enough that housing will communicate with you um, predominantly through your email, so yes. be sure you check it uh, routinely. Yeah, everything's through your email. Yes. Especially if you want to email a professor, um, you can do that through Blackboard, but it'll go through as your UARC email. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so. great, okay. Yeah. So there are some spaces out here where you can sit down, but mm -hmm. right here is another cool parlor where you can go to, um, which actually has a fireplace in here, has a really cool quote up there, it just looks all fancy in here. Um, it does look some fancy. more lounge space, and the best part of this whole entire room is the ping pong table. So Are you a, are you a fan of the pong? Do you I'm play a the pong? Fan of the pong. Nice. Yeah. It's used quite often as you can tell on the ping pong table. It looks like some people got a little angry because they might have lost, but if you want to use this ping pong table, you'll go to that front desk and you'll actually 
rent out equipment from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Hey, Megan from Rockwell, Texas. Good to have you join in and watch. And uh, Catherine, you know this area, so if you have anything you want to contribute as far as like yeah. different um, how these spaces are used, because yeah. you know more about that, feel this, free. Um, I love this space right in here. It's really quiet. Mm -hmm. It's like a sound room. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but this is really good study space for students. Um, if their fob isn't working on any kind of study space that they want to use or classroom space, always feel free to come to the front desk and ask if we can let you in. We want these spaces to be used. Um, and once students discover the space, it's kind of off you know, of the rest of the building, um, but it's really popular space. And um, so we want to let you into this space if you ever need to use it for study groups or just a quiet place to get away. So let us know. Yeah, and Catherine brings a good point. We invite you to explore. This is your home. Come and explore the spaces on campus and even explore the spaces off campus. Fable's a great city oh, yeah. to, uh, you know, discover for yourself, really. Um, as much as we could tell you where to go, you'll find those spaces that you just love over time. Um, and Dara asks, do they have that same space in Maple Hills West? So do we have this small study space in Maple so Hills West? So this whole area that we're in right now is shared between um, Maple Hill West and East. Mm -hmm. um, this is the front desk and lobby for both buildings. Um, so this is space that any you know resident we're going to allow them in even if they were a Maple South resident. Um, but no, this particular space is not attached to West. Um, they do have study rooms on each floor and then a large um, kind of common area off of the elevator lobby in Maple Hill West. On each and, we'll, and we'll see the Maple Hill East version of that, but it's right. going to be very similar. Vir yes. Virtually a mirror uh, identity to the other yes. one. Okay, good. Uh, Tori from Tulsa. Hey, Tori from Tulsa. We'll wave to her. All right, let's keep going uh, yeah. and check out. I think we're... Where are we going next? We're going to show you, um, so Fulbright College of mm -hmm. Arts and Sciences, the Freshman Advising Center, and just transfer students if it's your first yeah. year here. You'll actually come here if you ever had questions about scheduling. Um, I know I've been here a few times just because you think you know what you're doing and you like to pretend like you know it all, but you really don't. Mm -hmm. I have failed multiple times. Like I'm taking some summer classes this summer because I got a little bit behind because I didn't know what I wanted to major in, and so I thought I was doing everything right, but you have to take certain classes that are prereqs for other classes, mm -hmm. so they'll help you with that. So this is like their waiting area right here. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you'll come in, you'll check in with them, you'll have to well, call the right there. They yeah. do have walk-ins between a certain time, um, and you'll have to do, you'll have to, if you're in the Fulbright Arts and Sciences College, you'll have to have at least one advising appointment before you can register for classes. So Good always to something to keep in mind in the back of your head because everyone's trying to make that last minute appointment right before it's time for you to schedule your spring classes. So make sure that you're on top of the game and you do that ahead of time. Sure. Tammy asked if we're going to go visit West today. Actually, we're going to visit East, and East is very similar to West. To so West. what you see here will mostly translate. Yeah, so right here there's usually a an iPad right here and they'll check in right here and that's where they'll be but sometimes they'll do group sessions of um, appointments and stuff just because like I said everyone's trying to do it last minute advising mm -hmm. so they'll use some classroom space in here that's something that's really cool yeah you bet okay yeah. so like here's a little classroom space that they may use in mm -hmm. here um, just regular seats and stuff and then you want to come down here yeah. while you're waiting here's something there are vending machines and there's an ice machine as well. Mm -hmm. um, something to know about the vending machines is that you have to pay for this out of pocket. So this means it's not included in any of your fees. You'll have to pay with cash, card, or Apple Pay. So if you wanted a drink, of course you can get that. And of course, you can get a sweet treat right here and I'd show you, but I'm on $20 in my bank account. Oh, no, we won't so. make it. And there are bathrooms right here. Gotcha. But of course, one of the great things about Maple Hill, or one of the uh, features, is that the bathrooms are in the residents' yes. rooms themselves. So yes, of course. So we'll just head on this way. Mm -hmm. I see you have your tape measure with you. I have my tape measure. I am prepared for all of the questions that we're going to be bombarded with, <laughs> which is a good thing. Don't. That is why don't we're here. Bad. Um, we ask you that. There's another classroom that they may use, mm -hmm. um, just to kind of show you, for example. I, Again, the FOB system right here. Just let me all use it. Thank you. And we kind of got a breezeway here, just I'll explain this. Yeah. We were looking earlier at that outside where the uh, farm was, or where the, mm -hmm. yeah, where the uh, uh, garden was and the patio. 
it's in that direction. Um, a lot of people leave through here because it leads to uh, campus really easily. Yeah. yeah. We do occasionally use the space for programming. Um, we'll have a, um, an early risers breakfast um, for our, kind of our students that are going through um, band practice and sorority recruitment here at, right after you move in. Um, and that'll most likely be in this area. We call this the vestibule. So if you the ever vestibule. hear programs in the vestibule, this is what we mean. This is that area. Good to know. Yeah. Because there are a lot of spaces here in Maple. Yeah. Maple Hill area. You do have to be fogged in pretty much everywhere. Yes. Okay. Okay. So please excuse the mess. We do have some people <laughs> working out of this space. But this is our community kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, all students who live in Maple can access this. Um, uh, if they need a full oven, this is where the full oven is mm -hmm. in Maple. Each floor in west and east and south will have a space similar to this that'll have a microwave and a toaster oven. Um, but if you do need to use an oven for baking cookies, mm -hmm. um, it is here. Uh, you've baked some cookies before. I did. I baked cookies <laughs> and I've made a pizza. I love my good old Tony's cheap pizza from Walmart. It's fantastic. You know, I guess, yeah, sometimes we, obviously you have a, uh, a dining plan yes, by living on campus. To. But, you know, from time to time, you just want to throw pizza in exactly. the oven. And... You just kind of get sick of the dining hall food mm -hmm. um, at some points in the year. Yeah. And so you'll want to come in here and just, it's a good time to hang out with your friends and get to know other people. So. Are there ever watch parties or any sort of events that people get together? And... Um, yeah, in this room we don't use as much for watch parties mm -hmm. because we don't have a television. Instead, we have a pool table. Do you have a pool table? We do nice. have a pool table. Um, check out that equipment from Kent at the front desk. Mm -hmm. um, but we, on every floor, there's a space like this that does have a television. We do watch parties in those rooms. Okay, well. okay. Great, great. Well, I guess, is there anything else we want to show on this floor or should we head upstairs? Let's just head upstairs. Okay. Uh, uh, Remy asks, is there only an oven on the first floor of East or also in South or West? There is only a full oven in the first floor of East. Gotcha. Um, so there are toaster ovens on every floor of each of the buildings, but if you need a full oven, you'll have to come over to East. Full oven, like cook a pizza? Yeah, or, yeah. Or... well, so the toaster ovens are quite large, so if you have one of like the personal pizzas, or some of the frozen ones will actually fit in there, um, but if you're doing like full-fledged, cakes and brownies and I don't know what else. Um, <laughs> well, please feel free, we might stop in and ask for a taste. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you'll have to come over to East. Okay, good enough. Good question, Remy, thank you. Yeah. All right. And it's clean and done. It is, we're getting it all ready for you. Yeah. So here's her and she's talking about how it's on every floor, but of course like doesn't have the oven or anything. Just to show you for an example. Mm -hmm. So there are some nice living spaces. Um, Sometimes people get want that community feel, so they'll actually come in here. You can turn on the TV, you have access to Cox Cable, and you have the HBOs, there's a uh, DVD player as well, and you can come watch The Bachelor on Monday nights, the ladies. Mm -hmm. Some guys occasionally. <laughs> this is where um, usually our toaster oven and microwave will be. We removed them because we've had miners in the building um, all throughout the summer, and we just didn't want to have to worry about that. Sure. Um, so they have been removed, but they will be replaced before yes. you get back. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, band camp has been here. We've had a couple different camps. Um, mm -hmm. and a Lego camp. camp. A Lego camp, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. all kinds of things during the year. Yeah. Okay, this so let's head on down and look at, uh, we're gonna look at a lofted room first. Mm -hmm. There are stairs right here that you can always take. Mm -hmm. if you're feeling daring and you need to get your exercise, which is not a bad idea at all. Yeah, and how far would you say we're, we are from Old Main if you were walking right Ooh. now? That's about a 10, 15 minute walk. I'd say that's about right. Yeah. yeah. About a 10, 15 minute walk to Old Main. So I'll show you the laundry room first. Mm -hmm. um, this is included in your fees. There we go. Yeah. Light shut on. So you don't have to bring any quarters or anything. Um, something cool about this laundry system mm -hmm. is we have a thing called Laundry Alert. So what that is, is you, if you have an iPhone or you have an Android, it doesn't matter. You can scan this right here. Um, and it'll let you know whenever your clothes are done washing, and it'll tell you if there's even a washer open, and you can put it into the dryer, and it'll do the same exact thing. It'll send you a notification to your phone. You can also do it on your computer, and it's just good to use because we don't always want to walk all the way down here just for it to be full. So um, definitely something to use. 
you do have to bring your own laundry detergent and stuff like that. Tide Pods are super easy. Um, if you're like me and you really missed your fabric softener, you went old fashioned and just kind of sucked it up. <laughs> so, um, are these on every floor? Yeah, we have two of these on every floor, which is really nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we just got a question from a read about what does that caution say? Let's see. Do not overload the washer or dryer. Your laundry will not be as clean and drying time will take longer. Overloading may cause equipment breakdowns. There you go. Do not use those items. That's what it says. Don't yes. overload, please, is what yes. that sign says. And that's the sign over here on the wall um, that's going to tell you exactly how to set up the laundry alert system. Mm -hmm. So if you don't exactly know what I'm saying, yeah. it's right there. Um, It'll be all reiterated from yes. there. Yes, and something also to really keep in mind that if you leave your clothes in here, mm -hmm. um, Friday at noon, they will be bagged up and held until Monday and donated to a shelter. Oh, so okay. please do not leave your clothes. Don't it's happened multiple there. times. Set a reminder on your friend. That's why this laundry alert system is so good. Yeah. Because you just bought that top and you don't want to give it away quite yet. <laughs> and they were asking about bounce with the line through it. And basically what we're saying is please don't use the powder. Yeah. We prefer that you would use the pods or other kind of methods. I yeah. think that's what that says. Liquid. Yeah. Or the liquid, yeah, not the powder is our preference. Yeah. Okay, great. Good, good old Tide or Clorox. Okay, so we're gonna look at the um, trash. Is that right? Oh, our trash room is just right off of the, um, the uh, elevator lobby. So maybe we can hit that on our yeah, way out. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Anna just went into the room that we were going to take a look at. That's fine. Um, I'll check out this uh, yeah, study area. Yeah, we'll check out the study area over here. Mm -hmm. Anna's really. <laughs> um, dryer sheets okay? I think yeah, dryer yes, sheets are yes. fine. I use the um, bal or not balti. Uh, Gain green ones that smell oh. like tropical fruit. Your check from Gain's coming in the mail. Gain. Now. I, sh I should be freebies. endorsed by them. I should get free stuff. I'm a broke college student. Crying out loud. Um, I actually stole a lot from my mom. Sorry, mom. Oh, sorry, mom. <laughs> so here is uh, Here's just another study kind of room. Study mm -hmm. room. You can come and sit down right here. Have a little good old family dinner if you want to. Um, just somewhere nice to relax and just kind of unwind sometimes because I know that school can be very stressful. Um, you don't want to overstress yourself. I overstressed myself yesterday, and it's not very fun. Mm -hmm. um, just staying on top of things. You're on your own now, so you don't have your parents nagging down your back. At least that's how mine were. Wanting to get you those good grades, and you're going to realize once you're here, you want to make those good grades for yourself. Um, so I would just work hard, try to get things done early, because then you're going to stress about it the night before events, and you know, just have fun. Don't overwork it because it can get, ooh, the acne comes on real strong. And as you're talking about that, I'm thinking, we do have um, coordinators for uh, uh, counselors for yes. uh, residents and uh, counselors in residence. Yeah, there's these actually are, one in here. Yeah. Um, so if you ever needed some help. Right. So that's a nice thing. I mean, we do keep an emphasis on mental health. You know, yes. it's something you, everybody needs to watch, you know, as you mm -hmm. keep up with your wellness Physically, you need to keep up with your wellness, you know, psychologically, and there's a lot of stresses at college. Yeah. Um, and also talking about physically, there are workouts um, places here on campus. Mm -hmm. So freshman 15, honestly, it's hard to gain unless you're just eating everything that is thrown your way. I didn't gain it one bit. I gained it more when I came home for Christmas break. <laughs> um, there is the Hyper, which is located on Stadium, which is kind of right next to the um, gymnastics, volleyball um, stadium right mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. by the football and then there's also one that's inside of the union um, towards the bottom floor so that's something that you could always use out too. Yeah. Tammy asked about fabric softener mm -hmm. and yes. uh, we're okay with fabric softener right I think? Yes. Liquid, yeah. liquid fabric liquid softener? Fab fabric softener there's a place um, just like on your washer at home there's a place for you to put it you can also use it use the dryer sheets um, that is fine um, we just those uh, powder detergents will gunk up our machines a little bit. Um, the other thing that we like to warn students about is if you're using those Tide Pods or any other kind of pod, making sure you're putting that in with your clothing mm -hmm. um, in the front loading lawn, um, washer, not up where you would put oh, the in regular the little, detergent. Oh, little cup area. Yeah, yeah don't do that. Don't okay, do that. yeah. It's just yep. You know, I, now that you mentioned, I think I've made that mistake myself. Oh, it's when I know. first moved to Pods, I think I made that mistake. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. Now we use them all the time at home, but. It's always good. Very I will let you leave. Are we going yeah. to the south? Yeah. Go to this classroom. 
Um, what you see here is Anna is going through and getting our rooms um, ready for residents again. Um, we can bring it back over from our conference season. Sure. Um, Anna's awesome. You will see her around. Yeah, um, she would be a, um, uh, inst a um, service assistant here. Yes. Okay. yes. And we love having Anna. She does. Uh, this is room four three five. Four three five. Yeah. Welcome to your new home. Mm -hmm. You'll be here in maybe less than a month, depending on when you move in. So you're going to have a vanity right here. Um, you can kind of do makeup here. You do have some drawers. Make sure that you talk with your roommates about who's going to get what drawer. You know, don't always take just one. You do share this place after all. Um, something else is y'all do share a bathroom right here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a toilet. You're going to have toilet paper that you will have to provide on yourself. And trust me, it's not that bad because you're not going to want that one ply. Um, and you're going to have a shower right here that all four of y'all in here will share. Mm -hmm. um, so you're in charge of cleaning it. Every, I would clean it every week for it not to get dirty, anything in here, this is all on you. Um, so just keep that in mind because you don't want to take a disgusting shower. Yeah, let's see if there's a there's a Yeah, there's a lunch right there. here so you can put like shampoo, conditioner, eraser. Um, so yeah, and you can, if you wanted to, I know some girls do this, you can put another, if you wanted a cute shower curtain, mm -hmm. you can put that just, I wouldn't remove this because this can act as like a shower liner. Yeah. And if you do remove it and you don't have it at the end of the year, you will be charged yes, for it. Yes, you will it, be fine. So. And here's just like some towel racks on the side, of course. Yeah. Um, so we'll go into... Well, let's show off the loft here. Yeah, we'll go to the um, loft up. Yeah. And because the other room we're going to look at is going to be more typical uh, of the spaces. And the, and the bedrooms are exactly the same. The bedrooms are exactly the same. Okay. So what we want to show off here was the loft space up above. Yeah. So, whew, my fall there. Yeah. <laughs> So up the stairs. here, we do have the loft. Um, hey, we had a quick question about the yes. bathrooms. Um, Amy asked, will a shower rack hang from the shower head? And I think yes. we're talking about those little wire yeah. things. Wire that goes over Yeah, I see students use those a lot. Yeah, I, I would use assume so. all the time. Um, so up here is just like a loft area where you can come and relax. There is a cable box right here. I know people were concerned that if only the rooms had cable. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath. Mm. <laughs> Um, so there is a cable box right here if you want to connect a TV or something. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely there you do have, like I said, access to Cox cable. You do have the HBOs. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a DVR box for an extra charge if you want to. So there's a lot of outlets over here. Um, make this space your own. You can do anything that you want up here. It would be super cute if you put Christmas lights around this. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot. The furniture that is here is what comes with the room. Um, you'll see some variations as we've replaced things um, on, you know, the coloring and, and what exact pieces look like. Um, but you'll have an armchair, you'll have a couch, you'll have a coffee table, and a little end table. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple more questions about bathrooms that came in. Uh, uh, Megan, um, how many towel bars are there? Any four. hooks on the doors? Were there any hooks on There's the doors? There's four towel bars, and I don't know. Um, I'm good at I think there, yeah. I think there is one hook on the on the back of the door, um, but we can confirm that for sure. What color is the couch? That was a brown, a brown kind of a, fake leather, I guess. Yes, but every room, the coloring especially, is going to vary. Okay, so this room may have a brown couch, we but you can't be guaranteed that it's going to be brown. Yeah, so we've got two hooks um, on the back here. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, There's yeah. no reason why you can't add to that. Uh, 3M strips, as long as you're removing them properly, aren't going to do any damage to the doors. Sure. Um, and then Irene asks, in the bath, yeah, are there four towel hooks? And yes, that's going to be right behind you. Right, okay. These are the four towel hooks that you've got. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, let's continue on and show maybe the more typical room. Actually, let's, let's show the trash real quick. Great. That way and we can finish off in that room. room. Great. Yeah. Um, Megan, can you measure the space next to the toilet for a shelf? And we will be sure we do that once we get to the other room. We just want to show you an example of what a loft, lofted room looks like. We're glad that everyone's tuned in today. Um, keep the questions coming. We will answer all of them to the best of our ability. Yeah. Um, we are here for you, and we hope that this makes it an easy transition for when you arrive here in the fall. Sure. We got a couple other quick questions coming in. Let me just make sure that we got them. Um, 
what is um, one of the 27 suites? Do you know what that is? Of the 27s, a oh, style? Um, so we do have, and I don't know them off the top of my mm -hmm. head because our, um, our suites, I think we have about seven different floor plans. Most of them are very slightly different from the room that we're just about to show you. Right. Um, and so most of them, they might vary a little bit, but most of them are, are very close to what we're about to show you. And we encourage you, you know, when you arrive and you take sort of control of the room, it's a great time to do a lot of super specific measurements uh, for your specific room. And then you can go out and share that experience with your parents to go get the things that you need for it. But yeah. we're happy to take the measurements of the rooms we're going to view. Um, uh, Kim asked, can we show 426? And I would say that we're on the fourth floor, so in general, well, 426, is that custodial? 426 yes. is a custodial closet, yes. Okay, well, we've got, um, if it's another room and it's on the fourth floor, and we can, we will try to accommodate that. Um, yep, okay, so let's head in to look at the, look at the trash here. Something to always keep in mind, you can <laughs> always buy things when you get here. I wouldn't overcrowd it, especially if you're coming from more than an hour or so to coming here. So this is Walmart USA, we have Target, we have TJ Maxx. There's a home good in Rogers. Um, just so that way when you get here, you know the exact measurements for your room and you can customize it then. Yeah, yeah. And you know, minimalism is kind of in these days, so less is more, right, when it comes to these spaces. So this is our trash chute. Mm -hmm. um, every floor has one of these just right off of the elevator lobby. Um, to operate it, you have to have both hands free. So you have to push okay. and turn, and then you can put your bagged trash only. Um, into the chute. Um, it's just a good idea to, uh, I always set my keys on the ground. If you throw your keys or your cell phone, it's gone. It's tragic, <laughs> it's gone. but it's gone. It goes down to a trash compactor, yeah. so it's not, a, we cannot get it back for you. It's done. It's done. That's, you know, forewarned is forearmed, so good, good. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know about that. However, if you do drop your phone down the elevator shaft, they can get that for you. It, it was not. It was inoperable though. Right? Yeah, it was. It was, it was completely <laughs> dead. Kind of <laughs> All right. So we looked at this uh, common area. Now we're going to go into one of the more common configurations of a room. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. I think we're there. Right here. Right here. 448. 448. Room 448. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, Tammy asked, best way to hang a curtain rod. Ooh, good uh, three those M are, strips. Okay. Yeah, you can get some of those three M strips that have the big hooks. They're about like this. Um, that's the best way that we've seen. Just make sure when you're removing that, you are following the directions exactly. You need to be taking a very long time to pull that three M strip off, or it is going to damage the paint. Um, and we are going to charge you for that when you move out. Also, leaving three M strips up comes with a pretty hefty fine too. Because if we don't have that, um, we spend our whole summer just taking three end strips down. Right. So, so yeah. Yeah. Good <laughs> resident in that regard. Yes. Um, let's see what else. Does the floor plan B have a foyer? I can't, I would think, if you go to housing.uart.edu and look under Maple Hill, you'll be able to see the layouts for the different like B, yeah. C, and D. So you'll be able to... Um, find out exactly as a yeah. foyer. Typically they do have it's a foyer. It's a space Typically about this size. This. Yeah. Um, so like a futon can fit mm -hmm. um, right here. There's not a whole lot of other space. Some of our um, other floor plans have a little more space than this, mm -hmm. um, but they all have at least this much space. Okay. Yeah. 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 You can like plug in a TV right here. I know that was one of the questions we had come in before we started the video today. So there is another TV. Um, there is a cable outlet in the common area as well. Um, let's see, Peyton asked about that, and then Blake asked, uh, 27 are the large triples, so do we, oh, do we have large so triples? Those, yes, yeah. we do, um, and that makes sense. Um, those, we have one of those per floor, um, that's part of the reason we didn't choose that for a layout that we would show today. This is a very typical layout. Um, in those rooms, you're going to have um, kind of a, a common area that's set off like this, um, and then the, uh, all of the beds will be in one room. All of the beds will be in one room. So all three beds in one room. Do you have a slightly larger common area maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's kind of the configuration there, Blake. Um, Carrie wants to know if we can show room 410. We'll look at the end to see if we have time to yeah. do that. Um, 
Irene asked to provide our own trash bags, right? And I think yes. yes. And toilet paper. Um, all of those kind of toiletries that you're going to use, um, you will provide yourself. Okay. Rammer asked, will you please measure that entry seating area? And we're happy to measure yeah. this area Let me here. Just on my little piece of paper. Okay. So I do not want to get hit by the door. So if we're just going straight to the wall to this first little nook before the door opens. We're looking at 58 and a half mm -hmm. um, across, and then we're doing from this way. We hold that. Mm -hmm. it's a little, a little too long. We're looking at 103. 103 yeah, in that one dimension. 102 and a half. It's okay. Kind of hard. Yeah. Go ahead and give us. The, I guess the height is eight because it's eight feet yeah. in all these ceilings, as I recall. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna make this work. Okay, so it's about 94 inches and divide that by 12. Okay, okay, great. <laughs> um, could you help me remember uh, room 410 and room 418? Or yes. no, I'm sorry, just room, just room 418. Okay, can you show more room and talk at the same time? Yeah, Laura, we can course, do that. Of course, yes. We were just trying to do some questions, but you have okay. a and a thermostat yeah. also in here, so you can control that um, if you want. Mm -hmm. Let's you see the also, thermostat. Yeah. So whenever you pick your rooms, you might pick A, you might pick B. Um, the beds don't matter, A or B. So this would be room A. Um, so you'll come in here, and this all of the furniture that's in here is movable. So you can arrange this how you want. Um, you can try to play around, see what it can do, but usually it's picked this way so that way you're getting the most space that you can mm -hmm. you can lock these beds if you want to do that if you want us to do that before you get oh no jk we we won't be locking beds before you get here um if you do have you know some kind of physical restriction and you need assistance in lofting the beds we'll make sure that that happens for you but most likely we won't be able to get into the rooms and do that beforehand mm -hmm. um, well you can always do it yourself i promise you it's i did it's so easy um, and there is a bar up here, so if you were to, you have a five, five foot clearance. Right? Yeah. So if yeah. you loft your bed all the way. That was a question up, actually from Di. What is the measure clearance. under the bed when it is fully lofted? Yeah, five foot clearance, and there five is that clearance. bar right there, mm -hmm. just for extra safety precaution. And it moves. To, yeah. Very so. good. Very. Do a lot of people loft their beds? Yes. Um, a lot of students loft their beds. If you loft your bed, you're going to be able to put your desk underneath it. Mm -hmm. um, we do see students that will put a small futon underneath it. That's nice too. Um, and then if you just want to raise it a little because you don't want to climb into bed every night, um, you're still going to get some good storage space underneath there. Yeah. Excellent. And there are wardrobes in here. There's not built-in closets. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be open right up that here. wardrobe for them. Okay. Yeah. I know that we had a question about that. So, and there is a little drawer right here and there's one also below. So you can hang that. There is a bar right here if you wanted to, you know, put that in right there and mm -hmm. just have some more hanging space. You can always remove that if you want to. So, just trying to show you a little bit of what it's sure. going to be. Uh, Megan asked, "What's the TV wall?" And I would say that right there. This is probably your TV wall because there's your TV right there. Although you know, there's other opportunities to yeah. place it. Um, you do have digital cable here, YouTube which and is HBO's. Uh -huh, includes HBO. Uh, Cox offers a DVR service for an additional cost. And this is going to be 17 across. I know. Someone's going to ask about that, and I'll do the height. Mm -hmm. um, and while she's doing that, the um, drawers that you see here inside, um, these are removable from the wardrobe. So okay. if you need more hanging space, you can. Um, and if you're lofting your bed, um, there's a good space for that to go underneath your bed. So all the way up to the... Oh, thank you. Oh. So up to that wall, it's going to be 66. 66, okay. Yes. 66. 17 across. Um, Remy, if there is time, uh, actually, we probably won't go to the second floor. I'm sorry. We're here on the fourth floor. Uh, Mackenzie, uh, do you recommend lofting or leaving it down? And I guess that's a question for a student when you're uh, yeah, a student. My personal preference is I would loft it because mm -hmm. you get more space. It is a really, really small space. So you have to use all of it. I, if it was me and I was living in here, I lived in Yoakum Hall, but I still lofted mine as high as I could. And um, if I was in here, I would lift it definitely as high as I could so I could put my desk underneath it because that's going to save a lot of space and like you can move your wardrobes to this side or depending on if you wanted to use that um, cable box right there. I know people do use this as another shelf if they loft it to the top so 
Yeah. Uh, Megan asks, uh, size of the wardrobe, and I think we've given some dimensions. Yes, yes. Maybe we haven't given all the dimensions yeah. yet. So it was 66 down from, oh gosh, 66 down from that pole down and then 17 across from here. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> it's just a little difficult. But if we're doing it all the way into the ground, it's going to be 81 and a half. 81 and a half. Yeah. And then the width. Not the depth, but the width. Yeah. yeah, the width is going to be 35 and 3 fourths. 35 and 3 fourths, and then the depth of it? <laughs> it's going to be right at 24. 24, so yeah. there you go. Um, again, uh, Di asked, what is the measurement under the sink? So let's go ahead and go into the bathroom yeah. now. Take a look at that. Um, so I'll measure this. Uh -huh. There's this drawer right here. Depth is going to be 21 and a half. The width is going to be 28 and a half. Mm -hmm. And the height from this. Um, but you do have that. You do have that pipe underneath, so be aware of that. Yeah, yeah, you do have the pipe underneath, but until that, it's going to be 25 and a half. Almost. Okay. 25 and a half. There we go. Let's see what else we have here. Let's go ahead and go into the. Uh, yeah. Other so we go into the bathroom. The bathroom um, so it's just going to be the same kind of configurations. Mm -hmm. I think we had a question about a shelf in the bathroom. Yeah, did we? Don't yes about hanging a shelf. Okay. Well, but let's, let's give it. Let's give I'm going to give you the space from about here to the wall because sure. in case you want to next yourself right here, and I'm just kind of guessing. Um, you probably want to stop right there. 25, 26. So 25, 26 um, inches clearance. Yeah, yeah if, inches clearance. If you want to put a little shelf right here, mm -hmm. and then from this wall to this wall, it's going to be almost at 28. 28. Yeah. Okay. Um, Irene asked, how wide is one of those wardrobe doors for hanging a rack on one? And did we give her the, the width um, of the yes, door? Yes, it was 17. One of the doors, yeah. One door. One of the doors is 17 wide. Sorry, yeah, just Okay. No, I'll just make it a little bit different. 17, 17 and three fourths. 17 and three and fourths. Half, yeah. yeah. So Alicia asked, can you um, measure the space between the beds? And sure, I think a lot of times that question comes up in terms of what kind of area rug would work best. Yeah. I mean, four by six would probably be my suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, from bed frame to bed frame, it's going to be right at 60 and a half. Um, divided by 12, of course. Mm -hmm. And then. <laughs> It depends on if you want to move this desk or not, but for our sake, since it's already here, we're not, right. we're just going to do it from the desk. Um, and it looks to be about 52. 52. And the width of the desk itself, if they wanted to get that measurement. Yeah. I'm sorry, not the width, the, the depth of that, of that it's desk. It's 48. Uh-huh, 48. The depth is going to be 28. Okay, 28. Great. Um, all right, let's continue with these questions. Thanks for all these great questions. Uh, Mackenzie Stair says, great, thanks, Molly. Oh, anytime. Aww. She was my little one cheer. Aw, okay. Uh, Mates has got it. Irene, how wide is space between beds under the window for a bureau? So how wide is the space between beds under the window for a bureau? Let's just let you know, move some stuff around. Ooh, look at those oh. vessels. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is on wheels. Um, so I'm kind of having to pull that from the, uh, sure. the desk. So we might be able to just get back up there. Yeah. We're just going to plie back there. Look at what we're doing for you. So there is a tiny little windowsill um, here. The width of the windowsill, 38. Mm -hmm. 38 and inches is the width. For underneath the sill to the ground, if you wanted to do a small shelf, uh, 32. 32. Yeah. 32. Okay. Great. Hey, thank you. Let's just go ahead and measure this. There we go. Yeah. Four times six. Ooh. Got it. Yeah. Just trying to get, get that sturdy. Um, 63. Yeah. 63 inches. Okay. Yeah. So while we can't guarantee that this is going to be true of your room, these are very typical measurements. Mm -hmm. Like you can expect it to be, you know, pretty good, very small margin of error mm -hmm. on these yeah. things. Um, Let's see what else we've got. Uh, yep, Jeannie just asked, can you measure the window, which I think we just did. I just did. Wow, it's like you've done I this. Knew it. I just did. Uh, Tammy asks, space next to the toilet for a shelf. Oh, 
We already measured that. We measured that one. Okay, good. I knew someone asked um, that. Great. And we are caught up on our questions. Yeah. So there were a couple questions that came in before. Yeah. We'll make sure we answer those too. Oh my God, yeah, you Hold on. Nice. You, you really are pulling something there. I did do some pele. Um, we had some questions come in before. Mm -hmm. um, we already answered the one about the cable. Um, it's available in the living areas as well as in the rooms. So... If you really wanted to catch up on Netflix or your show, you can watch it anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, what is the length within space between the rungs of the head and the footboards from top to bottom of the bed? Oh, so I think actually what they're talking about is these here, okay. these um, rungs here, but we can also do, um, I mean, we can give yeah. them the... So if you're talking about these, um, I don't know, you can't really see. Um, seven and a half, and that's the height, the width, is going to be 36, um, and I, I'll give you a baby dip, because that was asked. It's going to be about one. About one inch yeah. depth. And from each um, little peg right here where you can loft it, uh -huh. um, it's going to be three. I'm not even going to measure that. It's yeah. three. <laughs> inch, yeah. So from the floor to the top, Every three inches, that's kind of the variations you can have in lofting. So that's really nice. Okay, yeah, every three inches you can go. Um, Di asked, will all these measurements be posted online? Unfortunately, the measurements we're giving you, the specificity we're giving you, will not be posted online. It's here in the video, and you're welcome to view this video back and forth as you go. Now, you will fill and find a lot of dimensions on housing.uart.edu, and then when you look up uh, Maple Hill uh, South, East, or West. And so I you'll find a lot of general dimensions there yeah and then if you do have a floor plan that varies from this and it is important to you to get that measurement all of those floor plans are on our website with the dimensions um, you'll just look at your number and then you'll see oh I'm floor plan J and then you can go and look at that floor mm -hmm. plan if there's anything missing on there at all please let us know you can send me an email Catherine L at uark.edu um, that's on our website too um, and I'm happy to get you something if there's something that isn't there Within reason, we're happy to do that. Yeah. Um, another thing was, another question was, what is the width of the leg of the bed? Two and one fourth. It's a square. But yeah, no. <laughs> um, is there support between the leg and the base of the bed, or does the bed simply meet the base? Mm -hmm. It looks like it simply so, meets the base. Simply meets the base. Yes. Um, does the closet have a soffit and or door? Yes. Is it consistent from room to room? The closet, I guess in this case, the closet it's is the really room, the, the wardrobe. wardrobe. Yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a movable piece of furniture. Um, what is the width, width and height of the closet door opening? We have already measured that. Okay, got that one. Um, and then what is the width of the windows in the sleeping room? And we just measured that. The windows can vary though. So okay. something, you know, with all these different floor plans, definitely just kind of wait till we get here. Because I promise, like, they're not going to be sold out of anything. You can just go and get it then. Or you can always have it shipped here because you do have a mailbox now. Mm -hmm. um, Amy asked, could you please measure the space from the desktop to the bottom of the shelf? Oh, yeah. So that's one we have not done yet. We're happy to do that from for you. From here to here or all the way down the yeah. bottom of the shelf? Oh. So this is a little lip. So there's a little bit of space up underneath it. Right. Um, but from, so do you want me to measure up there? I'll, I'll do both. Yeah. So from the bottom of the shelf, mm -hmm. it's going to be about 22. 22. That's not including that little lip. That's right. probably a one yeah. inch lip on there. And then if we're doing this little guy, it's about 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Okay. Yeah, 19 and a half. That's the, that's the, the height of that. Yeah. Um, uh, Dara asks, can you measure from the top of the first loft to the floor, not the full loft? I, I'm not sure I'm following completely the top of the first loft so to the floor. So they might yeah. be wanting to know from sure. here to the floor, which um, you can't put your bed, like you can't put the bottom rung on that one. It would have to be the top rung. Mm -hmm. So the, the lowest that your bed would be hanging would be about here. That's about where your mattress would be sitting at. Um, but we can go ahead and give that measurement with from that here down. Yeah. So this is sort of the highest position that we're looking so at. So this this is from that top peg, um, which is not how high your mattress would be. It would mm -hmm. be um, a little lower. So we we'll give you both seventy and a half. Seventy and a half from that top peg, and then if you tell me what 
about here is where, let's see, here, actually, about here is where your mattress would sit. Okay. Um, 64 and a half, 64 and a half. 64 and a half. So if you want good clearance, even at the top space, you need to go probably no, no lower than 64. And, yeah, and I say about five inches, I'm five four. Um, and so when you get this little, you know, bed, bed springs that are holding up your mattress, um, that's going to give you, give you a little bit less, but you're going to have about five inches of, or five yeah. feet of clearance. Of clearance right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have here. Um, James asked, is there a cable box in all rooms? And yes. yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. Um, guess how much space is at the end of the bed? And, um, let's see. Well, you know, like we said, it just kind of depends on... Yeah, I different rooms are kind of different. And, um, but I guess we could give a wardrobe. Yeah, or let's, two? well, let's let's do end of bedpost to the to yeah, the. Yeah, uh, have you hold that? Yeah, I'll hold right that. Where I can get it. Oh, you got it. Okay. okay. So this is end of bedpost, not including the uh, wardrobe. <laughs> Just trying to make it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Wait. Sorry, this is kind of difficult. Um, 83 and a half. About 83 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. So if you need to put something there. Divided by 12. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I read yes. This video is going to be archived on mm -hmm. Facebook. It'll also be on YouTube. So feel yes. free to watch it as much as you'd like. And our mm -hmm. website, movein.uark.edu. Mm-hmm. It'll be there as well. Um, Die says, please show the inside shower and what's across it, and we can do that. Yes. In this particular room, we'll have you ball for us <laughs> and then so jump in there real quick. There's this mm -hmm. space, and then which has the four towel racks. Scrub a dub dub, you're in the shower. There you are. Um, you do have to clean this, keep that in mind. You don't have maids, that was one of the um. Kind of pullbacks if you wanted maple, so please keep this clean. I promise you, boys, y'all gotta clean it clean, and girls, you gotta clean up that hair right. from the shower. It's growing up time. A lot of cleaning that has to go on. A lot on. of cleaning. So let's see. Um, yeah, thanks again for answering that question. Yeah, we will post this video after. Um, let's see. Uh, Jeannie asked about mounting the television, and no, no we don't. We don't. Right. <laughs> No, yeah, any damage that is um, resulting from anything you put up on the walls, you will be charged for. We do like you to know that up front. Mm -hmm. um, so no mounting of, of curtains or anything that you're going to have to drill in is going to leave damage that we'll have to charge for. I mean, these spaces get used by students every single year, so we mm -hmm. have to be, you know, careful with the space, respectful of the space. Um, Dara asked uh, if you took off the top loft portion and only had the bottom frame. So... So these beds are fully loftable, mm -hmm. so it is one piece. So some of our beds that you might have seen in the others, they have two pieces to right. loft. Um, these are just one big piece, so you get that whole bed. Um, whether you have it lofted or not, you do have those tall bed posts. Gotcha. Okay, let's see what else. Um, Mackenzie says, do you, do you say a desk was provided? Yes, a desk yes. is provided. Everything in this room is provided. Irene would love to see a desk chair, if we can do that. Oh, yes. Let's show you some cool about it, too. Okay, desk chair. You might want to put a pillow in there just to have a little cushion for your bum. Um, but you can remove it nice. like so, and it does become a little rocker. So Very cool. if you end up being the room where everyone came um, into, just like my room was, um, definitely do that. You have some more seats for people because I was very particular about who sat on my bed. I'm one of those weird people. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Julie asks about uh, show the desk chair. Yes, we did. And measurements. I'm not, you know, we can give you some measurements of the chair. Sure. As best we can. Yeah. We'll give so, the height of the chair, certainly. We'll give you the length. 21 and 1 fourth. Uh -huh. 24 and 1 half. 19 and a half. And then the height from the bottom to the top. Um, you're looking at about 35 and a half, 36, we'll just say 36. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Alicia asks, um, are the beds twin or twin XL? And what do we have here? We have 36 by, so, what are they, mostly 80s? Um, any 
Honestly, um, it's left my brain how many inches this mattress sure. is. We can measure it. Yeah. Um, if you get the long twin mattress or mm -hmm. the long twin sheets, they will fit um, any of our beds. Okay, long twin sheets will meet. Will, will some some uh, stores call them the extra long twin, and, and those will fit. You'll mm -hmm. have a little bit of give, but especially if you're putting any kind of mattress topper, um, highly suggest that. that. Highly suggest. Okay. Um, Irina, I heard you 70, can... 79. 79. 79. 79. Okay. So really 80 is how you should take it up. Um, Irina, I heard you can opt to not have a chair in the room. Is that true? No. I don't think so. So all of our furniture that, isn't in the, that is in the room must stay in the room. Um, if you have a beloved desk chair at home, that's great. You can bring it. Um, I would then suggest go ahead and loft your bed so you have some extra room for yes. that chair. But these chairs do have to remain in your room. If they're not in your room, you will be fine. Right. And fights are not fun. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> Di asked how many outlets in each room, and we can just quickly point out where the outlets are. There's some. There's four there. Oh, uh, four. Are there four on each, each side? Four. Yeah, there's four. There wasn't any back there. There's okay. So you, in here you've got, what, 12? There's four right here. Yeah. That's probably plugged in. There's four back there. Okay, so you actually have 16 there you go. in here. Um, okay. Uh, surge protectors, we do suggest um, anyway, just to make sure that your electronics are safe. Um, so you should put that on your list of things to bring. Yeah. Uh, Dara says, I didn't realize that some rooms have the full loft ladder bed frame. Can we find out if the daughter's room has the full loft ladder or is it in two all, pieces? All They're of the all beds in full. East are yeah. going to be this. I have to look again at, at West and South. I'm a little less familiar, but if they are in East, they will have this bed. Yeah. I tell you what, Dara, I'll try to follow up after this and leave a comment on this thread. Uh, I can't speak to your specific daughter's room, but if you tell me what hall it is, I can probably do that. Um, Julie asked about check chair back measurement. I think we just got yes, that. Yes, we did. Uh, Laura we didn't asked, do this one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Chair I'll back. I'll measure that real quick. Um, we're looking at 15 and a half, 15 and a half by 19 wide. A 19 wide. Uh, Laura asked, what style suite is it that you're showing? And really a common one is what we're showing. Uh, I, one of the again, more typical. I haven't memorized the numbers. This is one of our most common ones, so it might be J, um, which is our most common one. Uh, but you can you can look that up. We're in 4, 448. Um, 448. So if you look at that, it'll have the number right on our floor plan. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, that was a lot of great questions. We're so yeah. pleased that you are um, coming this fall and that you had so many questions. Yeah, any, we, any final thoughts for us? Um, just from being a freshman last year, I know I said I'm a junior, I skipped a year, I'm super cool, I know. Um, but just from living in a residence hall last year, something I would just suggest, um, do not bring a whole lot when you're trying to move in because you can always get stuff when you get here. You don't want to overcrowd your room because it is a really small space to what you're compared to. Um, if you're coming from out of town, only bring half of your wardrobe here because when you go home for winter break, that's when you can bring the other half and you can take some of that home because you can have less space. Um, I would loft my bed so you can put stuff underneath. Um, and I would definitely study and try to get involved here on campus. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing recruitment, sorority, and fraternity, like that's fantastic. If not, it's so easy to get involved here on campus. Just figure out what you love and you can go to orgsync.uark.edu um, and you can look at all the RSOs on there, so, yeah. Okay, um, and then we had a couple more questions come in before we say goodbye. Um, Tori, uh, can you show the inside of the closet? Um, I think we did. we'll show yeah. it one more time, just real quick. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, this bar you can remove if you want to, you don't have to. Um, you can take this that out if you removable. want to. Um, everything's removable, and there is this bottom shelf right here where you can put stuff as well. Yeah. And Timmy asked, if we already turned in a lofting request to fix it in Maple Hill West, will that be done before we arrive on the 10th? What I've been told is that, you know, you can turn it in. We're going to do as many as we can before you arrive, but it may very well be after you arrive. Yeah. And that, the Maples are a little bit different. We have conferences right up until students get there. Um, we really have the minimum amount of time after conferences and camps leave um, to turn this building over and get it looking the way we want for when you guys get here. Um, so most of the time we do not have time to go through and, and do those loft requests. We, like uh, Christopher said, we will if we, we have the time, but I don't want to give you any false hope. Right, we want to we'll be realistic with you. It might be a week after you arrive before they it's, end up changing the loft. I promise you it's so easy to do it on your own. Yeah. Um, bring a rubber mallet so that way you don't have to borrow one when you get here because everyone's trying to use it. Um, but 
All it is is you hold onto a bedpost and you use that arm strength. I can even do it because I have no arm strength. You just lift up and it takes out three people. That's it. Um, uh, Brammer asked about assisted move-in day and how that works. And basically we have a number of volunteers who will come and help you move in on that day. Mm -hmm. uh, of course the staff here from housing is available to help you. Um, do you have any other thoughts on, on assisted move-in day? Um, so if you're particular with your belongings and you don't like um, you know, volunteers to be moving your belongings from your vehicle to your room, um, I would pick the other day. Um, we get your stuff out of your car and into your room so that you can take care of paperwork. So that's a great thing, but some people are particular and, and don't want that. Um, and so if that kind of bothers you, you can pick any of our other days to move mm -hmm. in and then you won't have to worry about them. Sure. I know for sorority recruitment, there'll be game of guys that come around and also help. So, and speaking of move-in day, we will have a move-in day prep video um, that you can watch all will be later in August. So that's something good to keep an eye out for because there's, I know there's a lot of questions about that as well. Uh, yep. Uh, Dara was asking about the uh, uh, Maple Hill West 430. So I will, I'll look at it. Okay. It's stop, suit, sweet style G. So she found out what sweet style she was in. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Uh, Dias, is there a video on how to loft the beds? We do have PDF instructions, which I can I'll try to link to Very here. Easy. But also, um, don't forget that you're going to have resident assistant staff on your floor when you move in 24-7. Um, in the Maples, we are um, really lucky to have three resident assistants on every full floor. Um, so if you need help with that, that's what they're here for. So go ahead and ask them to come help. They'll, they'll probably physically help you do it um, <laughs> once, you know, move-in stuff dies down. But they will definitely be able to tell you how to do it and show you how to do it. Yeah. Okay. And Alicia asked, how wide is the top shelf on the desk? I think we grabbed that one, didn't we? Uh, no. Okay. We can do that one. We can do that one for you. Right Someone will we... hold that right there. I got you. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, 46 and a half. 46, 46 and a half. half. Okay. For depth, because they need the depth, because it's, yeah, it's a little short. Nine and a half. Yeah. How much? Was it nine, nine and a half? Nine and a half. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, if they're in West and may not have the full law frame, do we have to request it? Um, I think that, I think that all of our beds... Um, I, I have uh, to look at it, but we'll I think all of the events yeah. have this before. We'll do that. Um, Chris, you're right. The RAs are great. It is a good chance to make yes. friends with them. Yes, my either. RA was so cool. Her name was Rachel. We ended up having class together, which I thought was weird at first, but it was fantastic. And she's super nice, and she was very helpful, and she told me what classes to take and what classes to definitely not take. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. very helpful. Um, me guys with the the measurement of the wall spaces. I feel like we've done most of the wall spaces at this point. Um, I do know that the wall spaces in particular are ones that you can find on the floor plan. Yes, for sure. Okay. Well, that then does it. For, oh, one more, please, from Amy. Measurement from the desk to the wall. So these are movable, mm -hmm. um, and so you'll be able to move your desk wherever you know you and your roommate decide together. Yeah. Um, it's going to work for you. Yeah. It's kind of hard to like give you an estimate because right now it's that each desk is facing each other and like your roommate would want may want to put hers underneath her bed. So sure. mm -hmm. Alicia asked, do people decorate their doors? And I think yes is the answer yes. to that. Yeah, so these are um, very expensive fire doors so that if something happens um, and there's a fire, uh, you're going to be protected as best as a door can protect you. Um, so because of that, the fire marshal um, says that you can only have so much stuff on your door, and I think that's only 50% of the door that's allowed to be covered. Okay. Um, so we do ask you to, um, you know, respect that because it's there for your safety. Uh, Brammer asked, do all uh, Maples have a cafe? And I don't think they all have a cafe, but we have a cafe yeah. that serves yes, this general area. And it's not just for Maple students. Um, we've got students that'll come from across campus to go and use that hill grill. Um, so it's it's not very far away if you're in Maple East. Yeah. Um, Amy asked, oh, wondering if the bureau fits beside the desk in that setup. Um, she's, I guess she's wondering if, if you would, if it would fit. be able to fit it's it. It's going to be really yeah. tight because of the door, but you could fit it. Yeah, right, then you wouldn't be able to open up the, this, you yeah. wouldn't be able to open up the bureau though. Well, if think. you put it right here okay. and moved this back, it's going to just barely fit, I think. Just but it's, it's going to be pretty tight. Sure. Okay. 
Well, great. Well, let's go ahead and sign off. Yeah. Um, thank you very much yeah. for this great tour. Thank you. And to you, Molly, yeah. as well. Yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, we do have two more videos, or three, three more videos, mm -hmm. um, that are going to be coming up. We have hots. We have how to prep your tech before you move in. So we're talking about all the electrical stuff. Um, we also have one about move-in day. So still tune into those. You can go to moveinuark.edu to see the complete schedule. Yeah, and I guess you're going to be saying hello to a lot of these people in the fall. Yes, I'm so excited um, to meet you all. Um, my desk is right by the front desk of Mabel Hill East. Please stop in and say hello. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to move in. This is my favorite part of the year. Fantastic. Well, thank you all very much. We'll, we'll see wave you all later. Bye.